Here is an example that involves a joint probability distribution that we've seen before. Let x and y have joint probability density function f of xy is 1 50th for x greater than 0, y greater than 0, x plus y less than 10. Those are continuous random variables and if you label the axes here as 0 and 10, 0 and 10, this shaded region right here is the support script A for the uh, joint distribution of X and Y. First thing to do is to find the conditional density function of X given Y equals Y and after that find the probability that X lies between 3 and 5 given Y equals 2 using that probability density function. So here is how it goes. You know that the the conditional probability density function is just the joint distribution and that is 1 50th divided by the marginal distribution. And a few slides ago we had the marginal distribution as 10 minus y divided by 50 so we won't go through that again. And so this turns out to be 1 over 10 minus y. Now it's a little bit tricky figuring out the support here but let me do this in one specific case. Let's say y is equal to 2 and the reason I'm choosing y equals 2 is that's the specific case set up right here where y is equal to 2. Well if y is equal to 2 then the support would go from 0 to 8 and in general the support will go from 0 to 10 minus y. So in other words if y happens to be 7 then the support for x will go from 0 to 3. So sometimes this support looks a little bit funny because it actually involves y as it does in this case. Now for part b, now that we're done with part a, first of all I'm going to write down this probability density function, the joint one, with a specific value of y equals 2. So this is x given y is equal to 2 and you simply plug a y equals 2 into here. So it's 1 over 10 minus 2 which is 1 eighth and this is for x values between 0 and 8. You might recognize this, I'll put this out here in a little cloud, that um, x given y equals 2 happens to be the uniform distribution between 0 and 8. So in this case the conditional is one of the well-known distributions. Now why is it uniform 0, 8? Well since this 1 50th here does not involve x or y you can think of this as being equally likely anywhere over this triangle. So when we take this triangle and we slice it here at x equals 2, we will be equally likely between 0 and 8 and that's exactly what we get. So finally to answer the question, the probability that x falls between 3 and 5 given y is equal to 2 that probability can be calculated by integrating the conditional probability density function 1 eighth with respect to x between 3 and 5. And that integral turns out to be x over 8 and that is evaluated between 3 and 5. Well the pen is messing up but we're going to make it 5 eighths minus 3 eighths is 2 eighths and 2 eighths is the same as 1 fourth and that solves this particular problem.